Hey, Facebook. Hello, my beloves. We're going to talk about dating today. And the question is, are you judged by your look in dating? Are you judged by your looks in dating? Do you think that the way you look, the way you carry yourself, determines if a man will approach you, ask you out, take you out, marry you? What do you guys think about that? Hello, 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 beautiful. Say hello. Let's invite a few ladies. Let's invite ladies. Ooh. Let's invite a few of the beautiful ladies. Beautiful ladies. Yeah, 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 yeah. How's everyone doing this afternoon? Let's talk a little bit about dating, my beloves. Does it matter? Does looks matter? Are you judged by the way you look? Do guys make a determination about you based on how you look? Yes, maybe so. Happy Saturday. Just came in from riding bike with the baby. You judge. Do you think you're judged? And what does it mean to judge? To judge means to make a decision about you based on what you've presented. They, uh, people make a decision about you. That's what judging means. Judging is uh, based on the facts presented, a decision will be made about you. I know we like to go crazy and think about, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, you're judging, you're judging. Everything is judging, everybody. People who don't even believe in the Bible want to use the word judging. But it basically means to make judgment, to make a determination. In fact, based on the information you presented, a determination will be made based on that. Okay. Hello, Pamela, my darling. Happy Saturday afternoon to you. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? What do you think about our topic today? Do you think we're judged based on how we look? What do you think? I'm good. Thank you, dear. Good, good. I was out earlier. Hi, Boaz. I was out earlier with the baby riding his bike, and uh, home now my hubby took the kids to the uh, <sighs> so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Real quick, real quick, we're gonna talk. Just hang out a little bit. This. Saturday afternoon, just in case I'm not able to hang with you guys tomorrow, because I have to get up to my formatter. And all day tomorrow after church, um, I'm going to work on that most of the day. So I just want to come spend some time with you guys. Hi, Victor. How are you? Oh, wait. Oh, Victor, uh, no, both we are judged, right? Based on what we look very timely, and I'm about to go on my fifth date with that gentleman. Go ahead, Pamela. Go ahead, Pamela. Go ahead, Pamela. Wow, that's a testimony. You did the challenge, right? That's from our our challenge of doing something out of your comfort. Zone. I'm so proud of you. Let me see who took the challenge. Pamela took the challenge. connect. Pamela took a challenge. You're going on date number five with this man. Look, you didn't even want to go out with him. Remember? Uh, and yeah, because I have two Daniels, took the channel. She went on a speeding date. She met five guys. And I think she's going to exhibit this weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And somebody else I know took Let me say who she is because it's serious. <laughs> And Coco took the challenge. She's been going out. That girl's been on so many days. She's been, she's, well, let me not tell her this. 
Uh, Boaz says, unfortunately, looks has a lot to do with how people judge you. Absolutely. But for years in the church, the church actually needs to Don't, a man should not look at a woman. It didn't say don't look. It said don't look and lust after her. Okay. So, you know, and I, I was talking about playing welcome, my darling. I was talking about when I was coming up the church, young teenage girl. You know, I had my baby at 16. There was a lot of older girls, older young women who wanted to come mar get married. And they would, all, every time I saw that they had a rag on their head, they would come to church in a rag and they're looking at like, what kind of husband you gonna get looking like that? Not no high quality man. Okay, I told you guys about my husband. Where's all these ladies? <laughs> They're busy dating, Boaz. There be all my girls are out. It's a beautiful Saturday night. I know two of my girls are out on dates. Pamela, when you going out? Oh, Pamela said, Oh yes, I remember. I did the challenge, stepped out, and I also used my checklist. Yes, we're gonna talk about a checklist some other time. Best Pamela checklist. Oh, I know two of my girls are out today on a date. It's a beautiful day. Pamela, when you're going out with uh, your mister again, I'm so proud of you. So for years, the church acted like, you know, don't look, don't, don't, don't look at a man. And I love tall. God, I love a tall. Mine's in six feet. That's short for me. Or, you know, you can't look at a man and say he's good looking or, or a guy can't look at a man, girl and say she's, she's good looking. And then I said earlier, I think one of the reasons why there's so much divorce in the church is because people got married because they were saved. They were saved, but they didn't have anything else in common. Okay? I really do believe that people have to be attracted to each other. I'm very attracted to my husband, and I know he's attracted to me. I told you guys when, I, uh, when we met, I didn't even know this man was looking at me. But the first time I was flirt with me was when he bent over to me and he said you must have your mother's legs i it was a networking event i was networking my first book oh here it is i was networking my first and for our children i had on a little black dress i sat right on top of my knees i had on some boots fishnet stockings with that enough space for him to see and he complimented me on 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 my legs. It wasn't my spirit. He didn't know me to know my spirit, ladies. He can't know your spirit because he doesn't know your spirit. So, ladies, I need you guys to 2019 that yes, men are looking. Men fall in love with their eyes. They have to like what they see. Then they go beyond that. <laughs> you know, they approach. You look so nice in that dress. If you're in a room of a hundred women, it must be. Okay, if you're in a room with a hundred ladies, something about you. Ooh, that dress, girl. The way that dress fits you. I was, I was reading earlier about the Bible says Esther was beautiful and she had a good figure. Did y'all hear that? Esther had had a Coca-Cola body, Coca-Cola Coca -Cola bottle shape. She was shaped. She had a nice shape. She had a nice figure. There is nothing wrong. Don't lust now. Don't want to be like in your mind. You're like, <laughs> but it's okay. Ladies, that's why I tell my ladies, fix yourself up. Okay, do the best you can do. Fix yourself up. When I was single, Summer is coming. What? How did that know me? Every day I had on a dress. I have so many dresses. I can wear my dresses. Okay, ask anybody that know me that I work with. All my I have so many dresses. Ladies, guys like dresses. Legs. You don't have to wear long dresses. My church sisters. You could wear something neat on top of your knee. I'm not talking about the, you know you know, be a thought or anything like that. You can be sexy and at the same time. I had so many dresses, child. Every time I came out this house, I had on another dress. Guys like that. Nice, feminine, pretty colors, bright colors. 
Men are colorblind, ladies. Men can see color. Okay, that's why they stick to black, brown, gray, and blue. Because <laughs> they're colorblind. So when you have on black, brown, gray, or blue, you look just like <laughs> they don't know it's a woman. <laughs> but you got you have to put on you have to put on a bright, pretty, feminine um, color, and then they're like, "Oh, what's that?" <laughs> okay. Oh Lord, wait, I'm missing the comments. Where are all the ladies? The girls are out dating. Look, Pamela's on a date in another hour. I'm so proud of you guys. I'm in Casey. Casey, what's Casey? Kentucky? No, that's not Kentucky. Hi, Denise. How are you, girl? Hi, Denise. My how are you, Boaz? I have to use that one. <laughs> Hi, James. Ooh, the brothers are in the house tonight. Speak up, brothers. What is it that attracts you to a woman? When you go over to a woman and speak to her, is it her spirit? Is it her spirit? Spirit, or is it that pretty colored dress that she has on? And you're like, Ooh, what's that? Boaz says, Oh, wait. Uh, Denise says, Oh, I love Esther. Oh, she is my favorite. Next to Ruth. I, Ruth is my favorite. I just love the story of Ruth. Um, uh, Boaz, if you have it, flaunt it. Amen. Right? I need me to get, I need, yeah. We need to get Denise a husband. Does anybody know a nice Jewish husband um, in Arizona between the ages of, in, in his 50s, Denise? We need Denise. Uh, Denise is the, the most beautiful, just wonderful, just beautiful, sweet sister. Just a beauty. Talk about a beautiful spirit. <laughs> a beautiful, sweet. We need to get her a husband, honey. Hey, Rain. You welcome, welcome, my darling. Hi, Ta Tella. Tella. Hi, Tella. How are you? Uh, thank you, Denise. Send me some brothers. Um, we yes, we need to find it. Oh, Kansas City, Missouri. Oh, yes, Boaz. Thank you. Her smile. Smile. Yes, Denise says she'll move. Denise said between the ages of fifty-five and sixty, and have some money. Let's put that out there. We don't need no broke man, honey. We too old to be broke. Broke. Okay. We don't need no fixer up or no builder bob, no builds builder mills. Hi, Erica. Welcome, my darling. <laughs> Denise says, ah. <"Ush." laughs> okay, so it is it's spring. You need to look springish. Remember you how we used to dress up when we were little girls? I'm not saying break the bank now. Don't go crazy breaking the bank. And all I'm saying is fix yourself up because they do judge us. They do judge us. Fix hair I was out with the kids running around I got my hair you guys saw my hair the other day I got my hair rolled up the other day and I cannot sleep with a scarf no matter how hard I try but it fell off and this is the result <laughs> so I went out with little Michael riding his bike and I just gelled this up put flip this to the side I'm gonna have to do something better than this for the week though so fix yourselves up ladies put on some nice pretty colors put some um, skin toner, okay? You don't have to wear makeup. Get, go to Walmart, Walgreens, Rite Aid, get the CC cream. It's our tinted moisturizer. For years, That's I still wear that. I still wear tinted moisturizer. It just evens out your skin tone, okay? There's this girl on YouTube. She's wonderful sister. And she's talking right, but I I can't concentrate because I'm like, Lord, oh girl, Lord, can somebody please tell her uh, one of her girlfriends, girl, just you need a little toner just to even out your skin tone, you know, fix fix up, fix up, fix up, fix up, so attract. You need to be attractable, whatever that is, okay. To attract, you need to be attractable. Let me scriptures in here so y'all can see okay in the bible for those of you who don't believe me it's in the bible god talking about how beautiful these people were okay i always remember david king david i love king david how he talks about he was beautiful he he had red hair king david had red hair 
Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let me go back to the top. Sarah, we all know Sarah was beautiful, honey. Sarah was so beautiful that Abraham had to lie and say she's my sister so the kings wouldn't kill her and take her. That's in Genesis. Okay, she was very beautiful. She was very beautiful. Rachel, we all know how beautiful Rachel was, honey. We all know how beautiful Rachel was. I love Rachel. Rachel was beautiful. That's in uh, Genesis 12 and 11. And the Bible, look, listen to Leah. Leah's eyes were weak, but Rachel was beautiful and lovely. And that's why Laban had to trick, and that's in Genesis 29 and 17. That is why Laban had to trick Jacob into marrying Leah because nobody wanted Leah. Nobody wanted her. And I blame Laban because Laban should have fixed her up. Leave Rachel at home, fix her up, and bring her and find her a good husband. Somebody that's going to love her because Jacob never loved her. Okay, everybody that came to the house wanted to marry Rachel. Nobody wanted to marry Leah. And so Laban had to trick Jacob into marrying her. Okay, let's see who else. Tamar, Absalom's sister. Absalom was uh, David's son. Uh, Absalom had a beautiful sister whose name was Tamar. You know, she was so beautiful her, that her father wanted to marry her or had sex with her or raped her that was rape rape it was very beautiful and that was lust okay and then absolutely had a daughter and named her tamar after her his sister because she was so she was so beautiful the king's daughter okay bathsheba in second samuel 11 and 12 says that uh Bathsheba was very beautiful. Abigail, we all know, oh, I love the story of Abigail. Nabal was a fool. But the Bible says Abigail was beautiful and she was very intelligent. She was bright. Not only was she pretty, but she was bright. See, you can't be pretty and bright at the time. Okay? Abishai, remember when David in uh, 1 Kings 1 and 3, David was old. He was on his deathbed. He was about to die. He could not get warm. And so they say, find the most beautiful girl in all the land and bring her to keep the king warm. So she was very beautiful. Job's daughter in Job 42 and 15, in all the land, there was no woman so beautiful as Job's daughters. They were beautiful. They, they were dressed in silk, honey. They was walking around in silk. Okay, Jezebel, can you believe it? Can you believe Jezebel was beautiful, even though she was an evil? But the Bible says Jezebel, she was the king's daughter. She was beautiful. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. In in Song of Solomon, y'all need to read the Song of Solomon, y'all. I am black and beautiful, daughters of Jerusalem, like the tents of Kedar, like the curtains of Solomon. Esther, we know Esther was beautiful. I mentioned it earlier. Uh, Mordecai was the legal guardian of his cousin Hadassah, with that is Esther, because she didn't have a father or mother. The young woman had a beautiful figure, beautiful figure. She had a beautiful figure, and she was extremely beautiful. She was good looking. Okay, but I don't think it's only face. It's, it's all about how she also carries herself. And in my book, I wrote about there's more to us than a chiseled face, nose, and the big booty and the big boobs, okay? A lot, some men like all that, but a lot of men don't like all that fake stuff. Hi, Marion. How are you? Hi, Malik. Barson, where you been, Malik? Where you been? You're back up this way. What's up? What you doing? Okay. Um, let's see. David, I love David because it talked about how David had right here in 1 Samuel 16 and 18. One of the attendants spoke up. I have observed the the Bethlehemite who is skilled in music. He was a stalwart felon and a warrior sensible in speech and handsome in appearance and the Lord was with him. Let me see if I find that one where it said David had red hair. It says he was ruddy or a ginger or like Harry. You see how looking Prince Harry is with his red hair? Let me see if I find it. movie if you ever see the movie you know they make up these movies with uh king david um it all uh, right uh, rudy 
Wade is the most famous ginger of all. He had red hair. <laughs> and in the movie, I the cast the cast to play David. In the movies, that they would have found somebody that had red hair because it talks. The Bible talks about how David had red hair. He did King David. Y'all to talk think Prince Harry is the most is the most headed man. No, it was King David. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, here it goes. First Samuel 16, 12 to 13. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy, ruddy. He had ruddy hair. And with all a beautiful countenance, beautiful and goodly to look to. Woo, David. Arise, anoint him for this is he. Then Samuel took a horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. But David from day four forth. So Samuel rose and went home. To uh, Rama, Rama. So there you have. David had red hair, was beautiful. Okay. Moving on, moving on. Ahab. Can y'all imagine Ahab was also good looking? Ooh. Uh, King of Tyre. I don't remember reading that one. Miss Messianic King. Your eyes will see his beauty. Mm, we we'll talk about the Lord Jesus Christ. Other individuals, Moses, no, a man from the family of Levi married a Levite. The, the woman became pregnant. This is the first scripture that let me know I needed to pray for my daughter. So when he saw that he was beautiful, she had him at three months. He taught in the KJV version, he said he was goodly to look on. And most of you know that my daughter, how I was born, because most of you know that my daughter Alexa has special needs. And I was praying for her, praying for her, because the doctors, first these things and what all I had was God's word. I remember reading the Bible, it says Moses was a goodly child, and I grab hold to that. I grab, let me see if I if, if I mention it in the first part. I grab hold to Moses was a goodly child. And that's what I took. That that one scripture became this book, 250 pages. I'm gonna redo it. But um I one scripture is stuck to me. That's how I got this book. I started with that one scripture that said Moses. Mm, Moses was a goodly child. I can't wait to redo this book. This was the first book I wrote, praying for our children. That's the scripture I got though. Moses was a goodly child. Da, 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 da. Mm, mm, mm. I'm sure I mentioned it in here somewhere. In the KJV version, it says uh, Moses was a goodly child. When the mother looked at him, she saw that he was a goodly child. And um, yes, so we're talking about are you judged by your looks when you date? This is why I keep telling my sisters, fix yourself up. Do the best you can do with what you got. Okay, Joseph. Oh, Joseph is my favorite person in the Bible. I love Joseph. I can tell you from the beginning to the my first book I wrote was about Joseph, not published yet. I haven't published it. I don't, I'm just waiting for the Lord to release me to publish it. But the first book about Joseph, he's my favorite person in the Bible in Genesis 39 and 6. Now, Joseph was handsome and good looking. And remember, even Potiphar's wife was trying to run him down to, to do him because, ooh, this says that, that his, his talks about his chest, I believe in Genesis. Talks about his chest. He was strong and he was good looking. Oh, Eliab, David's brother. Remember, remember, guys, when Samuel anoint the king, the Lord told told uh, the prophet Samuel after Saul. Did I get Saul? Did I miss Saul yet? I think I did. I skip over King Saul because I love King Saul now. I know he disobeyed God, but okay. Here goes First Samuel nine two. Kish had a son whose name was Saul, a handsome. A man among the people of Israel more handsome than he, his head and shoulders above everyone else. I love King Saul. I know he messed up, but Lord, y'all know I love a mm -mm. little bitty short man didn't stand a chance with me except my childhood sweetheart. He was short, but other than that, my husband that's, that's short for me. <laughs> Um, Eliab. So, okay, Eliab. Remember, David 
I told Samuel to go to the house of Jesse after Saul messed up. Um, thank you, my darling Denise. When is the new girl? I was just telling Michael how tonight and tomorrow I have to do my last review and send it to my format. Next month is my anniversary. Six years, six years, six wonderful years. I am so grateful to God. And, uh, you know, we're going to, you know, go away for a uh, little, little getaway. And I want, I want to have it done. I want to have it back from the formatter in the print print um, version so I can read it while I'm off. Plus, I'm going to be reading Michelle Obama's book while I'm off. Um, so soon, soon, hopefully by Mother's Day. I don't know. Okay, so he, the prophet, God told the prophet Samuel to go to the house of Jesse. I have anointed me a king. Now, Jesse had six, seven sons. So when, um, when Samuel came in and saw all of those big strapping, we say back home in Jamaica, we say these big strapping men, ooh, Samuel got happy. And when the first one came before him, uh, Eliab, Samuel said in 1 Samuel 16, 17, but the Lord said to Samuel, do not look on his appearance. We're, we're Samuel 16 and 7. First Samuel 16. It's an interesting story. I love reading the story. And I'll read the KJ. This is a parallel Bible. And the Lord said to Samuel, How long, how long, Samuel, will you mourn for Saul, seeing I have rejected him? from reigning over Israel, fill thine horn with oil and go. I will send thee to the house of to Jesse the Bethlehemite, for I have provided me a king among his sons. Okay, I'm getting a little revelation right here now. I'm getting a little revelation. I'm going to have to study this because Saul is also, Saul is also from the tribe of Beth, Bethlehemite, Bethlehemite. Hmm, I need to study that. I got to study that. I just, I got Bethlehem, Bethlehemite. I got to study that. And Samuel, uh, Bethlehemite, for I have provided me a king among his sons. So God told Samuel to go to Jesse's house because one of his sons, God has chosen them to be the king. Notice God did not specifically say, hi, Lisa Hicks, how are you? Oh, guys, don't forget I have a YouTube channel and um, I would love for you guys to subscribe. Um, devotional this one this morning. I upload devotionals every day and I'm on dating. So be sure to stop by my YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment because YouTube is deleting comments. And excuse me, if you don't subscribe properly, if you don't leave a comment, if you don't watch the video every morning, I wake up. I have every morning I wake up, I have less people. So that is my YouTube channel. I forgot to share it. Let me post it up here in the comment um so please leave a comment please share please subscribe and check back if you youtube is deleting people but i have a youtube channel so please so anyways so god told jesse remember i thought it was interesting that i did not tell samuel okay god did not um to uh, uh the prophet samuel which of the sons he chose he said just I've chosen one of his sons to be king. All right. Uh, and Samuel said, how can I go? If Saul hear it, he will kill me. And the Lord said, take an heifer with thee and kill it. And the Lord, uh, and say, I am come to sacrifice to the Lord. And call Jesse to the sacrifice. And I will show you what you will do. And you shall anoint unto me him whom I name unto you. And Samuel did that which the Lord spoke and him. And the elders of the town trembled at his coming and said, Comest thou quickly. So when the prophet came to their city, they were nervous, like, Lord Jesus. Well, gee, they didn't know Jesus yet, but uh, oh, Jehovah, 
he's coming to pronounce judgment. And the, the priest and the elder said, do you come peaceable, peaceably? And he said what he said. He said, and he said, peace, you come to sacrifice unto the Lord. Sanctify yourself. Sanctify means separate. So the men, I forgot how long they had to be sanctified. They couldn't have sex with their wives the night before, something like that. He said, sanctify yourself. Sanctify means to set apart. Set apart yourselves and come with me to sacrifice. And he sanctified, set apart Jesse and his sons and called them to the sacrifice. To pass when they were come, that he looked on Eliab and said, surely the Lord has anointed him before him because Eliab was big and tall and he looked like a king, okay? But don't look at their outward appearance for the king. But even though God said don't look at their outward appearance, men look at our, our, at our outward appearance, ladies. So they don't see our inside first. They see our outward first. That's why I encourage you, ladies, to try to fix yourself up because they're looking at us, okay? Okay, let me read on a little bit because I love this story. But to, unto Samuel, look out oh, oh, his countenance, the height of his because I refuse him for the Lord seeth not as man see. The Lord, for a man look at the outward appearance, but the Lord look on the heart, okay? So you see there, we want man, ladies, to look at our heart. They don't, they can't see our heart, okay? My husband said he loved that I was talking about my daughter that night. How did he know I had a daughter? How did he know that I was a good mom? Because of the way I talked about my daughter and I wrote a book. But just looking at me, he wouldn't know, okay? Let me read on, one of my favorite stories. But the Lord said, look, okay, I read that already. Then Jesse called Abidanab, Abinadab, and made him pass. He said, Neither have the Lord chosen this. Then Jesse made Shama to pass by, and he said, The Lord chosen. And Jesse made seven of his sons to pass before Samuel, and Samuel said unto Jesse, The Lord has chosen any of these. So my, when my dad taught this years ago, he said that the horn, the anointing, the horn. Oh, perfect. I have a Bible here. The, 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 when the prophet came, the prophet would sit and he had the, the horn, so y'all can see, the horn with the oil. And as the sons came and knelt down before him, the oil would not come out. And then God, then he said, God didn't choose any of these because the anointing, the oil would not come out. That's what my dad, my dad taught. I have myself but it, it makes sense to me uh and samuel said and here all the lord has not chosen samuel said unto jesse are here all your children and he said well, you know there remaineth yet the youngest and behold he keeps the sheep and samuel said unto jesse send and fetch him for we will not sit down till he come hither and he sent and brought him in now he was he was ruddy and withal of a beautiful continent. So you see, you see, it's not that God don't care that for about beautiful people, that you're beautiful or you're good looking because it says David was beautiful. He was ruddy and a beautiful con continent. You know, for the other boys, they were just tall because um, David was young. He was 17. He was a boy. His brothers were grown men. So they had already grew up into the stature that they would grow up in. Okay, here, uh, ladies and gentlemen. And now, and he sent and brought him. Now he was ruddy and withal of a beautiful countenance and goodly to look up onto. And the Lord said, Arise, for this is he. Oh, I love that. I love it. 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 I just love it. I love it. Y'all ask me anything about the Bible, honey. I can tell y'all. Ask me. I'll tell y'all. I get tired, though, of men always talking about your appearance before they're You're not just about your appearance. I love what your husband said. Yes, Pamela, but let me explain to you. That's men. Okay? That is men. We need to understand men. Men and women are different. They're going to talk about Parents smile and say thank you. 
smile and thank you and then change the conversations throw it back in his court you know so what is your 10-year plan okay that's all you do throw it back in their court i know we get tired of it but you have to understand that's their psyche that's how they're made up when adam saw eve what he said whoa man man woo man woo man man with the wolf okay so smile say thank you okay my husband said "Ooh, you must have me okay but then as i was writing my book you know what he said to me he said when he was looking for a wife he was looking for a kardashian uh he said he loves smart women okay my my husband is in marketing do you think he has never met a smart woman some of these women um when i go to my husband's conferences and events with him i'm like these women are like you talking about the best of the you hear me lawyers women that are lawyers you name it you name it you name it you name it my husband knows them all have met them all okay sometimes i'm like he married me okay a little 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 teenage girl that had a baby at 16 with a little bachelor's degree that was struggling to make ends meet he chose me okay and he said, he said he loves smart women. He always I mean, he said, I think that was so smart of you to be selling your book at the marketing event. And um, he said, you don't have to be a Condoleezza Rice, but you've got to be like Michelle, because you know Condoleezza, she's like the she up all the way up. She's brilliant, Condoleezza Rice. So is Michelle. So you, but you got to be like a Michelle. He said, you're like Janet Jack. You know, you're real sexy like Janet Jackson. See, sexy. he threw that in there. And then he said, and you're like Mary Poppins. You know, you're a good mom. You would make a good mother and stuff like that. So you see how he took those three women. He was looking for those three women in one woman. Okay. Yeah, I'm like Mary Poppins. Yes, I'm smart. But girl, you are all. So ladies, understand that the men folk, they want to look, they want something to, good to look on, okay? Let's just, you get tired. I know, I know, I know, I know. Just smile. Just smile, Pamela, okay? Right, let's read on a little bit. <clears throat> let's read on, let's read on, let's read on. Uh, Okay, let's read on, okay? All right, let's, who else they said? So they talk about the kings of the daughter, da, da, da. That's it, that's it for now, okay? I know, Pamela, I know when you go out on dates, you don't go looking raggedy. You're probably dressing up right now because they like to smell good. Change your hair. My, youth, my hair was not like this yesterday. My hair look different when you come home. You think they see it, they don't notice it, they do. Those of you married, they don't care, they do care. They're going out of your house every day looking at beautiful women, good smelling women, women who is changing their fix yourselves up. I don't know, I don't care if you move your hair from this side to this side. <laughs> do it, okay? Because they do care. They want something that look good. They want to look at you good. Make sure you look good. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's that. I just wanted to uh, jump on and chit chat with you guys because tomorrow after church, I'm just going to focus on my book and get my book out and getting it to the format. I hope I can get it to her tomorrow night so that I can, I, she can get it back to me by the end of the so I can um, have it when I go kind of look for once I send it to the formatter, when I get it back, I just kind of browse. If I read it, I'm going to find something wrong and I'm going to want to change it. That's why I don't read my books after because I'm going to find something wrong and I'm going to want to change it. And, you know, that's not it. All right. 
All right, my beloves, I'm going to run. I'm going to try to take a nap before the kids and the hubbies come back. And uh, hopefully this encourages you ladies. Spring is coming, y'all. You know, fix yourself up a little bit. Fix it up. Fix it up. All right, guys, I'm going to go. Pamela, have fun on your date. Tell us how your date was. Don't forget to keep us posted, honey. Keep us posted. And look, you didn't even want to go out with him. Mm -hmm. See, you need to listen to me, but really, I listen to me. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> oh, Lord. Don't forget to subscribe to, to my YouTube page, guys. I have a lot of good stuff up here. My channel is doing very, very well. I'm almost at 4,000 hours, and that is great. That is commendable, and that is excellent. And if you guys have not seen the first sight read, Reunion recap. That's it my video. Okay, okay, they're trying to figure out how to call it off, though. Oh, Lord, Pamela. What, the date? You want to call off the date or you want to call off going out with him? What is it, girl? Jump in my inbox. What's going on? You want to call off the date or you want to call off my inbox? Go in my inbox. Message me in my inbox, okay? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me get another dating one on dating. Let me get one on dating. That one's doing good as well, too. Dating, 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 dating. Uh, let's see. What what it is? What is dating for real? What is dating for real? What is dating for real? Oh, that's good. That's good. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And then what time is it? And then I'm gonna. I'm gonna, what time is it? I'm gonna network a little bit and then I'm gonna. Oh yeah, inbox me, inbox me, baby. Let's figure it out together, okay? Let us figure it out together. And Okay, but have fun tonight, okay? Let your hair down, have, well, don't let it down too much. <laughs> Just a little bit, look, look, uh, look. Just one little bit, look. Just one little bit. <laughs> All right, girl. I love you. Have fun. Inbox me tonight. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk it through. Love you guys. Thanks for jumping on with me. Appreciate you. Bye. <laughs>